NBA insider Chris Broussard joins us now here on SportsCenter. They're both in really good situations here, playoff teams for both L.A. teams. How serious are Howard and Paul about becoming teammates next season, Chris? Well, they're very serious. They definitely would, would like to make it happen. But as you said, they're in good situations. Chris really likes living in Los Angeles. He obviously likes the situation with the Clippers. So it's more likely that he stays. So the goal would be to get Dwight to go to the Clippers. Dwight loves living in Los Angeles as well and would really love to make it work with the Lakers, but he's looking at that situation and it doesn't appear to be too promising with the way they use him, with their, you know, what the, what's the team going to look like next year with Kobe out, uh, at least for a little while. So basketball-wise, he knows the Clippers is a better situation as well, especially – if he can go there and play with Chris Paul. So the question is, would that be able to work out? Obviously, both of them could go to Atlanta as free agents, uh, and Dwight would be willing to do that if Chris would. But Chris, like I said, he really is high on Los Angeles, and it's a bit of a long shot, though not completely out of the question, that he would uh, up and go to Atlanta. There is a headline you thought you would never, ever hear major free agent leaves Lakers to sign with Clippers. That's a possibility, <laughs> according uh, to Chris Broussard, who, uh, of course, the Hawks... Well, it, would, it, would have to, it would have to be a sign and trade because yeah. the Clippers don't have the cap room, and that's what really makes it tough because it's hard to see the Lakers dealing with their hallmate, you know, extending Dwight Howard to play with Chris Paul right down the hall. I cannot imagine what that would sound like. Chris Paul was almost a Laker, of course, as well, so that was mixed by David Stern. Of course, the Hawks marketing and sales department got in trouble for citing your reports that this could happen in their sales pitch to the uh, season ticket holders there, and here you are again putting it out there that it's potential that the Hawks could be the team to make it work. We'll see how it plays out. 